In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this glitch effect. Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to add a glitch effect to. Let's begin by going over to the effects panel and type glitch into the search box. Drag the VR digital glitch effect on your clip on the timeline. Next, let's go up to effect controls and under the effect, expand the distortion. Increase the color distortion to 100 so you get this nice looking RGB effect. Then reduce the distortion rate to zero to get rid of all the artifacts. I'm also going to expand the noise settings and increase the noise strength to add a little graininess to my glitch. Okay, now to animate it, first position the playhead to where you want to start your glitch effect. And click the stopwatch next to master amplitude which will create a starting keyframe. Since you want to start without any glitch, change the master amplitude to zero. Next, use your keyboard's right arrow key to move the playhead three frames forward, and set the amplitude to 100. Then move the playhead another three frames forward and set it back to zero. Okay, now when I play this back, we have an animation on our RGB color distortion. Next, let's move the playhead to our first keyframe, and then go up to the video scale setting. Increase the scale to around 115, just so that we can move the video position without it leaving the frame. Now click the stopwatch toggle next to position to create a starting keyframe. Then move the playhead one frame forward and adjust the position of your video in the frame. Doing this will create a second keyframe. It's getting kind of hard to see my keyframe, so I'll just zoom into them a little bit. Next, you'll just need to move the playhead one more frame forward and click this button to reset the video's position. Okay, now just move the playhead forward another frame and reposition the video again. And finally, I'll move it forward another frame and reset the video's position. You could keep doing this for a while if you want a longer glitch effect. But I'm good with this, so I'll play this back to see my video's position moving around in the frame like it's glitching out. You'll probably want more than one glitch though, so for that, you'll just select all your keyframes and copy and paste them a little later on. To make the second glitch more random, you can use these arrows to navigate to the keyframes with the position changes and then readjust their positions. Okay, I really like how this looks now, so that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys found this useful.